Like any great story, this video follows the three-act structure. Act one, the lead up to act two. Fellas. Still doing all right. <laughs> you guys are bears. Give that ball the business, eh? That ball was given the business. We need Summers. We got a special visit to the nine. <laughs> <laughs> act two, where most of the stuff and the shit happens. The B.O., baby. What a day for it. That's an insane size speaker for a golf cart. So once we finish a bottle of brandy, everybody writes their intent of who they're playing golf for for today. Oh, Bob, who are you excited oh, for? <laughs> we stuff it inside this bottle of brandy. We bury it. Brandy has been buried. Act three is the resolution to the story. The conclusion. <laughs> Bang. That's right. <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> Come on, Tiger. Hit it, bro. I'll see you, Jay. Back to shots and thoughts. Me and Lockie. Oh, baby. Nice, nice, easy swing, okay? First tea. Tasty ham and eggs. <laughs> nice and easy. See ya. See, see ya, bro. bull. How do you rate this this weather? <laughs> oh, it feels like summer. Like, can't get any better, can it? Canadian summers. <laughs> Be back to this guy in a second. We got to see what's happening over here, fellas. Nutter, you hit the most ridiculous shot here like a week ago. Yeah. What'd you do today? Uh, I pretty much did the same thing. Back to stance, nine iron. One hand club flip. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. From the white tees. What? White tees? I think you need to play all tees to really feel the need of the course. Uh, get to play all different kinds of shots in there. Have fun, Saucy. Have fun, boys. Yeah. Oh! We're five okay, holes in. Done. Still doing all right. <laughs> what a tradition. First timer, hey? Yeah. Welcome to the show, pal. It's just the two of us drinking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're not helping you? No, not at all. Oh no, you guys are doing work. What do you got here? I got some E&J brandy with some uh, ginger ale. Just really loving the taste. Uh, E&J brandy. You guys got bears? Yeah, we got bears. Couple. <laughs> no! Lockie, from the trees. For birdie. Come on, ball. Hell of a putt. Give that ball the business, eh? Oh, that ball was given the business. It's worse, this weather or a huntsman spider? Um, or how do you say spider? Spoiler. 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 Um, I'd probably say this weather. <laughs> Huntsman spiders could be rather fittingly described as the very embodiment of arachnophobia, the epitome of almost everything that people fear about spiders. Long, hairy legs, rapid and sometimes unpredictable movement, and a proclivity for showing up in the most unexpected of locations. Story time real quick. Look. The Huntsman spiders absolutely terrify me, and I have a personal story that solidified that. So, this dude saying that they show up in the most unexpected of locations. I can attest to that, because in 2019, I was down in Australia, I'm driving my 1999 Toyota Corolla hatchback, my grandma Judy's in the seat next to me, and when a semi shines its light through our car in the opposing traffic, there we see a huntsman spoiler just on the dash of the car, right? So what do you do in this situation? Well, of course, I tell my grandma, like, you need to get that spider out of the fucking way. I am terrified of spiders. She's terrified. And so she turns on the light. When she turns on the light, spider gone. So now all of a sudden I'm starting to get itchy. I feel my body just starting to tense up. And we could not find the spider for the rest of the hour-long drive. So this is where I ended up. 
Oh, Lockie is somewhere up here we think he's on, but maybe Bunker. Oh, oh, this is what we got left for Birdie. Let's roll it in. Just kiss it. Just kiss it. We got a special visit to the nine. Hands are cold, you can just hold my sweater. <laughs> Out of the breeze, bro. You can hold my sweater. Go pies. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in paradise, isn't oh, it, my love friend? I'm gonna put in some sunscreen. You're the guy behind this whole thing. <laughs> Mr. Trevor Secundiak. The BO, baby. What a day for it. That's an insane size sticker for a golf cart. Look Did at the kicks he got. They knew that before. These are the grave digger <laughs> kicks. Come on over, I'll show you. Grave digger? Uh, like the monster the truck grave digger? So once we finish a bottle of brandy, yeah. we write our letter of intent on that scorecard. We stuff it inside this bottle of brandy. And we, we bury it. So everybody writes their intent of who they're playing golf for for today. Yeah. So everybody's got a father or a grandfather or somebody that's passed away first. in the past. I know we do. Yeah. And then Still a little bit left in there. Scorecard inside here. We bury the bottle. And there's, Trevi, how many uh, how many bottles buried out here? In Canada? Yeah. So this would be the ninth. Sort of ninth. Ninth bottle buried. Out here, and and that's uh, it's our tradition. Pretty cool. This is who everyone's playing for today. Brandon, you got left. It's in our cups. Come on, go home. Nice hat, Grandma. Can you do the Macarena? October 1, we got snow all the time. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, there's already a whole dog because we've been here for a bit. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. We'll do this again next year. It'll be nicer, hopefully. This is the first card has a card in it. Sign it. Do what you do every year. For your new ones, I think I've already talked to you about what that's about. And then we'll uh, we'll bury we'll bury this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, Mom, who are you signing for? <laughs> who are you signing for? Nana. <laughs> the BO, baby. Did he just like slip? Got mucked by a cart, dog. How you feeling? I feel pretty good. I got a little cut on my hand. Have you signed the cart? I did. Who'd you sign for? I signed for my grandfather, who actually happened to be buried on this day. No, nope. no way. And then my other grandfather too, and then my dad, but he's still alive. So. Yeah, love it. Who are you signing for? <laughs> <laughs> Trevi, no. who are you playing for? What am I? Who am I playing for? Yeah, my dad. Your dad? June seventeenth, two thousand two. Who do you got here? I got my granny. Okay, so this is the emotional arc of this video. If you See here, this is my dad's writing. It says for Dave Paley, June 12th, 2013, Bob P. And then for me, I put dropping dimes for Dave. And I had a whole video I made about this earlier, but my grandpa who passed away in 2013, he leaves me dimes. He leaves all the grandkids dimes. And so I find them all over the place. And so my own answer to who I play for is Dave Paley and other people who have passed before, but he is the most prominent death in my life. And that's an interesting concept about who do you play for? It really adds substance to what you do. So if you were playing in the Brandy Open,
who's the first person that comes to mind? Who would you write down on the card and how do you want to live out their legacy and remember them for how they are? So we're going to get into act three now, but this is just a very important little detour here. And I had a little dime here as I was editing this video. So very meaningful moment for me. Brandy has been buried. Oh, look at this black pack. You can do it in the sun, you can do it in the snow. Don't bring Lockie into it. Lockie's crazier than me. No, he's not. He's <laughs> crazier than you. Bang! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, four! Heck of a day for it. Six iron? Come on, Tiger! You got an eight iron. In, mate. Oh, Ripa! He actually just made it. It was his second attempt, but he did just make it. I see you, Jenny. Just hit it, bro. That's good. I'll give him that too. We're picking that one up. It's been another episode of Shots and Thoughts. Welcome to Canada, mate. Welcome to Canada. How do you rate the weather now? Uh, ten. Great summer weather. You know, like, just a beautiful summer day. Can't get over it. Beautiful mountains in the background. <laughs>